welcome to All About the Bass. Yeah. Uh, I'm Nathan. <laughs> and I'm Lee. Nice to see you. Yeah, and today uh, we're looking at a brand new project from... Uh, project? Project. Product uh, from Boss. Yes. A uh, product for bass, specifically for, from Boss, and this is the mm. Boss GT1B. Absolutely, yeah, their new multi-effects bass processor. So they, uh, they released the GT1 um, a few months back in the last year, I believe, for the guitars. So... Right. Now it's, it's only turn, right. Man. It's only right. Two right. Should do the thing, same thing with the bass. I yes. can't talk today, so I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> um, it's I'm very tired. The storms last night kept me up all night. Yeah, I was there the same. Uh, there. Okay. So, well, the first thing that strikes me uh, is that it's very small, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. really compact. Yeah, nice and nice and compact. Um, it's the sort of thing that will fit in any bass case, gig bag. It's only 1.3 kilo uh, kilograms, so. Right. Um, yeah, slightly more it. than a bag of sugar. Just a little, just a little bit. Just think about that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So nice and easy to yeah carry around with you. It's um, very simple controls. I mean, yep. obviously we're going to go through it at length, but you know, mm. basically you've got three buttons on the front and a little uh, pedal on the end. Expression. Uh, which generally you use for volume, and then that can be assigned to control other things. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So there's a few like combination, combinations of pedals you can uh, sort of you put press these into together yeah that will engage your tuner oh there you go oh, oh yeah. there we go there it is the, the there's your tuner. but that's your tuner this and, was the first and that mutes very nicely it does yeah I, I guess you should make it not mute if you wanted to but i don't see why you want to do that no, no okay so yeah tuner cool. so looking good so both those back together um you can engage the loop with, oh. the, with these two here we have a little looper that's good we do um, and there's there's lots to, to have a little play around. If you want to just plug this in and get going straight away, you can. There's 99 presets um, that are built in there uh, and 99 user banks as well that you can build your tone from. So you can you know drag from every different effect that you may or may not want to use okay. um, and, and build your own. Um, but we'll maybe start off by showing you, if you wanted to start from scratch, um, we've just picked user one, which is scoop slap like a bit of scoop slap, and then we've turned off the preamp and any other effects that were built in with it, um, just so we're just hearing that patch just clean. This is going from, through straight through our amp. Okay, cool. Um, well, yeah, and then we so can build up what we got. All right, yeah, we'll do that, and then we'll go through basically each different little effect, and we'll show you mm. what it does. Yeah. Should nice. we do that? Yeah, cool. So. Right, let's stop talking and get on with it. Huh? That's all good. So I thought we'll start with um, preamp. So we're like building a building this tone. So this, is our, so this should be our flat sound, right? That's our flat tone. Nice. So we engage preamp. Okay. Now this um, press and hold. If you press and hold, this will show you now on the screen what um, type of preamp you're using, the amount of gain on the preamp, and the level, the overall. So um, you can see at the moment it's on super flat, which is the um, just the the default position. Um, and then uh, you can adjust one, two, three. These little dials here. This is the results to type. This is gain. This is level. So it's nice and simple straight away. You can see exactly what's in front of you. So, so we've playing. got just for example, flip top. I think that's an ampeg thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. B man, that'll be a Fender bass man. That's the one. Uh, blah blah blah. blah. Yeah, there's yeah, all the yeah. GK bits in there as well. GK bass. So yeah. Okay, Mark bass. I Mark guess. bass. So that's the idea. Is it's it's trying to sound like those things. That's it. So, okay. So ho hopefully uh, you can see this clearly. We, we've had a little bit of an issue just um, with uh, getting the clarity with the camera. Uh, yeah, just because it's a very difficult thing to film, this tiny little LCD. The contrast on that screen is, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know, bright. it might seem a little dark to you, but uh, obviously it's, it all looks perfectly good to us, so uh, tough. And we'll talk you through exactly what you're showing. <laughs> <Yeah>. Right, <laughs> so anyway, let's go through some of these preamps yep, and show cool. the guys what it sounds like. So we have, yeah, start with super flat. Thank you. 
So, for example, if we were just to say st stop on that for now, and we yep. can um, just actually save that. So, um, and it would purely be working as just a preamp emulator. That's it. So, as it is, as we've just played around with those, we can just save that onto the user one, and I'll show you how to do that. So, there's two buttons here. You say right. Yeah. Press them together. Yeah. And you want to go enter. Enter, yeah. enter, yeah. enter. I'm skipping through those sections. You can rename patches and you know actually go uh, and, and assign where you want it to go and all that stuff. That's it. But just for purely just saving that particular edit we've just done, that's the quickest way to do it. So, as it is, the user one now. If we move backwards and forwards, you'll see it's just got the preamp engage of what we just sorted. So cool. Um, so yeah, we can just show the guys as we go through. So what should we pick next? Well, well let's turn the preamp off. Okay. And then uh, we'll, you know, we'll start looking at some of the effects, yeah? Love it. All right, cool. All right. So let's do effect one. All right. Uh, oh, there we do. So you could probably assign that to all sorts of things, could you? You can, yeah. So and this I, It's is... got limiter on there. Oh, look at this. I think I've gone somewhere that I don't need. <laughs> no, no, that's all right. So this is probably like, this is a compressor, right? So that is. That's so got a limiter as you a can compressor, do, right? Yeah, which you don't have to. I think FX1 and limiter, so you don't have to have it as the limiter, but I wanted to see. Boss, you see, that's probably a boss compressor. That's a rack compressor. Another rack. Uh, yeah, I think that's what's going on there. I think that's just a, a compressor thing, right? Let's and do multi. it. Multi. So, yeah, let's Should we hear that? See what yeah, it sounds like? cool. Let's see if it is compressing. <laughs> That sounds pretty compressy. It does. So uh, again, we can use the preamp we've just uh, we've just entered. Yep. So then we have a combination like of the two. Yeah. Oh, well, it's all getting a bit gainy, so let's, let's turn it down a little bit. Let's grab that preamp down a touch to 40. I might have the gain down on that to 40 as well. Cool. Mm. Worth uh, mentioning at this point, um, and you can see we've got a couple of Fender Rumble combos here, mm -hmm. and we're coming out uh, left and right of the GT1B and going into one amp each, and they are then DI'd and coming to you. So this is essentially in stereo. So you'll see that mm. later uh, when we get to some of the choruses and delays and stuff. You're luxuriating the stereo ness. Yes. Hopefully. Nice. Mm. Okay, so there you go. That's your so, Let's turn those off. Okie dokie. So off of those. Right. And overdrive distortion. Yeah. So oh, we're back to our complete flat signal. No preamp. No compressor. Yeah. Um, let's have a look at the overdrives. So we have. So again, you know, pretty straightforward. You've got your type. That's it. Of overdrive, and then how much drive, and the overall level. That's the one. So we got first. Um, actually, the first type is a booster, which is quite nice. So even if you just wanted to use it as a as a level boost instead of adding in much gain, okay, um, this might be the one for you. All right. Um, but then as we go around, so we've got natural overdrive, bass, OD, blues, bass distortion, governor, so it's more of a Marshall um, simulation, metal zone, some oh classic word. boss pedals in there as well. Oh. Bass fuzz. Let's have a look at the bass fuzz, maybe. But let's do them all. Yeah. I'll, I'll have a play. You go through them and we'll see okay. what they sound like, yeah? Right, sweet. So let's start with the booster. Thank you. 
There's a nice selection in there as well. That's, yeah. Something for everybody. Absolutely, yeah, loads and loads of different types. I mean, I kept the drive on 70 there, the Level on 50 just as an overall, but obviously you can just tweak those, each yeah. one. Okay. Um, so any of those to take your fancy, mate. I, I quite like that fuzz, the bass fuzz sounding really cool. Oh yeah? Yeah. All right. Um, so, again, like the others, let's write that in. So just two together. If you write it now, so it's just gonna remember with the overdrive, so. Good shout. Good shout. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, get out of there then. And then stick your preamp and your compressor back on. Preamp. Uh, what does that all sound like? Hang on. Let's have a little look. Horrible, I expect. All right, save that then. All right. Let's whack those in. Enter, 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 enter. There you go. And we've saved that. Cool. So, turn um, those off. Turn them off. So, mod. So, yes, modulation. FX2 stroke. So. That's it. So you as we go into here, just as normal, hold the button down. So this is actually just set up as a power EQ at the moment. So oh, right. okay. how do we... There we go. So if you hold again, uh, oh, if got act quick, hold again, and then you can choose what you want this modulation button to be doing. So if you go through, you've got compressor, limiter. Um, oh, it's gone again. You're not quick enough. <laughs> so you've got compressor, limiter, uh, you've got a... touch wah touch wah graphic EQ, parametric EQ, enhancer, tone modify, bass simulator, slow gear, wow, there's loads, defretter, bass synth, octave, pitch shifter, harmonist, overtone, phaser, bear with me, flanger, flanger tremolo, rotary, univibe, vibrato, ring modulation, humanizer, Chorus and sub delay. So, okay. we've got a bit of a choice there, man. There's an awful lot of choice. Isn't there it? is, isn't there? What a. There's chorus in this <laughs> There was. Where is it? Chorus. Here we go. Right, that's a little loo. Well, that's a nice effect on the bass, isn't it? Absolutely. So, rates at 40, depths at 50, levels at 100. I'm watching so this level so you down. You've just got one chorus and then you fiddle about with that. And then you fiddle around from there. So, what's that giving us at the moment? <laughs> Well, what does what it says on the tin? Cool. Bit of chorus. So we've assigned that. See, I'm just thinking up here then. So this one probably does the same thing. That says FX1, stroke limiter. So, so you I can reckon choose. if you hold on that one, uh, we should be able to get like a touch wire up the front as well, yeah? If we want. So if you wanted to put that, yeah, absolutely. And we had a little look, look for just before starting this, guys, and where you can, um, you can actually assign where you want the pedals in the chain as well. So through these effects, you can then go edit, you know, the actual position and the effects, which will obviously alter the overall tone um however you need so yeah. so yes All right. um so obviously as you go along we've got delayed reverbs as well um and i, I wonder what should we have a little look what the ones we've actually put in through at the moment see what we've got well it's gonna sound dreadful it's gonna right? sound, it's pretty gonna dreadful. sound really dreadful but obviously as you go along you can tweak amount of level on each effect just to yeah, make so, it so obviously we're, we're showing you at the moment what each individual effect sounds like if you're going to build up at your own uh, patch for instance obviously you keep them all on as you're doing it and then you know you say oh that's lovely you know, that's go. horrible and then and you wouldn't have everything on all at once unless you're insane <laughs> you just have a little bit of this and a little bit of that and then you know build it up nicely yeah so uh, all right good uh, is it worth you want to have a look at the delays and reverbs or yeah, I mean, uh, well, delays and reverbs. I mean, we can just maybe put on just to show show the guys what we got in here. So, there's a delay, standard. You can again hold the delay button, and then you can go through your different delay types. If you're quick, if you're quick, here we go. Standard. So pan, standard, reverse, analog, tape, modulate, terror echo. Oh, so there's yeah, different, lots of different ones. Nice, nice choice and reverbs there. Uh, delay, sorry, reverbs will be the exactly the same. So we're going. Reverb, where are we? Come on. No, I think that's it. Play, because your, your type will just be on uh, on one, won't it? Oh, sorry, man. There we go. Yeah, so there we go. This now acts as the type. So, ambience, room, hall one and two, plate, spring, modulate, 
and you've got, uh, you've got another delay in there as well if you wanted to double up the delays. Should we have a quick listen? Yeah, nice. Just so, so this, folks know what it sounds like. So Otherwise. this has got hall two, hall two on the reverbs. <laughs> So there we are, they were, I mean, it was mainly through the main sections there. Obviously, say so there are preset effects. If you didn't want to do this, you can literally plug in and just, just get started. Well, you have really nine, you've got 99, so Boss have done the hard work. There's 99 yep. preset effects in there, um, just to get, get you, like you say, just, just to get, get you into get it, started. and then you still, you can edit those and save them, or you can just start from scratch if you want, you've got the option. And there's a really cool thing coming through Tone Central that Boss are gonna be launching in September. So, um, a few other companies have got a similar sort of um, setup where they've got an online uh, user bank, really. So there's going to be a site where you can upload your favourite presets you made on this. Um, equally, you can hunt down other people's favourite presets Ooh. and just load them in via USB. But that's coming through in September. USB, so, right USB, here. That's it. And uh, what does that do anything else? The USB? Can you like use this as an interface? Can you record in your computer? That's it. I think yeah, absolutely. So you can use this as a as an out. So you can go use anything that's built in here preamps even if it's just a nice delay that you want to just plug in and, and yeah. record um you can just use that as a usb out straight through to your, your computer okay so you don't yeah, need an amp you can just plug straight into your digital audio workstation oh, your yeah. computer and appropriate software and some and cans and yeah there you go yeah good. speaking of cans on the back yeah uh you've got uh, an aux in mm -hmm. for your cd stroke mp3 player has anybody a cd player anymore just for your mp3 oh, man, player I hope so <laughs> I don't think so. No. Or your vinyl, I don't know, maybe your, yeah. your deck. Not going to happen, is it? Um, <laughs> Why not get that for it? <laughs> <laughs> headphone socket, obviously, so you don't annoy your neighbours. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, oh, yeah, you can plug in an extra expression pedal. Yes. If you so desire. Yeah, so if you wanted to control, I mean, so you've got the... Uh, you can just keep this one as volume, maybe, and then control some other parameters with Have the second a wah, pedal. Have or delay time, or, yeah, anything like that, you can actually assign to what, whatever you need for that particular effect. So. Okay, and now all of this, that's, a, you, that's, an, that's an awful lot of pedal, how much is it mm. gonna be? 189, currently. So where are we, in July 2017? But yeah, one, 189. That doesn't sound like a, a, an awful lot of money, does it? No, for, for what you're getting, I mean, and it's like with Boss, it's always, you know, it's built like a tank. You know, the, these things, it might be small, but they're always really sturdy, sturdy built, like metal chassis to them, really, really sturdy to and use. And you wouldn't want to sit in one? So, uh, and you know, no, no, you really, no. Uh, also, one thing that's worth noting though, I mean, this, you can use it out of the box because it comes with, this runs on batteries, if you want it to, four double A's. Four double A's you get with it. You get with it, what you don't get with it is a power supply. Mm. So, let's be realistic about this, you're going to need to buy a power supply as well. Yeah. Which yeah. is, uh, in the UK, is a PSA 230. That's right. So whatever yeah. country you're in, you're going to need the right power supply. Yes, I'm sure it, it, you, whoever, whoever you buy this from is going to have the power supply. So make sure you buy one at the same time. Over here, they're 20... 25 quid. Yeah. 25, 25 quid. 25 quid, yeah. So you're going to have to factor that into the price. Yeah. But then you save on batteries because these will just go, especially if you've got the input just plugged in all the time. That's where it engages the power. You're just going to go through them so quickly. Well, yeah, of course. So, yeah. And you never know when batteries you're going to give up. So halfway through a gig, that might be a bit of a nightmare. You don't want to be stuck. No, true. Oh, yeah, and oh, oh, don't, we got the looper thing as well, like, haven't we? That's, That's a good thing. Yeah. So should we have a little uh, quick run through this? You may see this is flashing. This is because we've been having a little mess around before. And Nathan's put some sweet little loops in. But this, uh, have you, I? I think. Well, let, let me have a little look. Off. <laughs> No, it's gone. It's forgotten it. It's gone. But anyway, so I'll do one. let's start off. So we've got nothing set on here, no effects or anything. This is purely just the basic of going through. Um, so to engage the loop, these two together tells you off, obviously. <laughs> That's what you want. On. On's good. With this light off means you're ready to go. So as soon as we hit this button, that's record. So, uh, so the idea is you get a little riff in your head.
hits. You remembered. That's is it. Stop. Two on that means stop. But as it's flashing, that's still in there, ready to go. So you can go back to that if so you want to. So one more, and it'll play. Hopefully. And we're good. Yeah, and we can still overdub on that, by the way, because one one hit is dub, and you can add, put some more bits on. Keep on going. So yep, do, do your up. whole Ed Sheeran thing on the bass. That's it. And we, we said maybe, obviously, you can use... Tune it up, though, obviously. <laughs> oh, ooh. Ooh. Ooh, controversial. Um, uh, but you can use this as a volume, um, so especially with the loops, if you're going to be building dubs and different levels to the, to the sound, it might be cool to start using that at different volumes so you can just accentuate this. Oh, I see. Parts. Now, that's a, uh, yeah, wise words. Wise yes. words, because otherwise your backing track it tends to be really loud. It's all going to sound. Then you go to play something over the top and you can't hear it. Yeah, yeah. Good. So, um, so yeah, cool. We're pretty much there. I mean, I thought we'd just run through maybe some of the presets that are built in, because some of them are actually really fun. Okay. Um, pitch shifters and whatnot. So, um, maybe we'll, we'll just cut to... Yeah, mate, all right. We'll play that at the end, but maybe we'll sign off here. I think that's a I think good idea. think we've got idea. everything. Got I everything. Think, I think we've said all we need to say about this little box. But, so ready in store. So they've just been released the 10th of July. Um, so, we have got some stuff coming through. I don't think we've actually got much stock at the moment. We sold loads when they first came through. So, okay. um, keep an eye on the website. It may still say pre-order or available to order. We will have some coming through if they're not through yet. But, um, give us a shout. Come and try them when they're in. And they're ready to go. Brilliant. All right, let's go through some pre... I'll tell you what, you have a go this time. Oh, that's sweet. You have... A, see, I'm very generous like that. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> uh, okay, well... Cool. Uh, thank you very much for watching. This has been all about the base. I've been Nathan. And I've been Lee. I've been Nathan. And I've been Lee. I've been Nathan. And I've been Lee. And uh, we'll see you next time. If you like the show, click subscribe down here somewhere and come back and see us next time. Lee. Oh. Let's do something. Let's I don't get this, wait, make the put make this work. I'll show you, I'll show you. Cool. Oh, See I'm you here. soon. I'm here. No, that's you. <laughs>
Yeah? <laughs> hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting, and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.